it's time once again. It's time for Tag Back, the show where almost every week we take a look at a blaster from the past to see what it can offer us today, the present. And this time, I received a package that had a note. The package from Lucas and his brother from DVD 205 Nerf, and they sent me a blaster for Tag Back that they wanted to see on Tag Back. Apparently, that's their favorite show on the channel. And wish granted, because now that I have the blaster and the ammunition to go with it, I can finally take a look at the good old Nerf buzzsaw from the... I don't even remember what line. Ballistic shooters? It shoots balls. Ballistic balls. There will be lots of balls in this video. Prepare yourself. Now, this is not entirely a difficult blaster to find by any stretch of imagination. In fact, I think you'll find one if you go down to any thrift store on the planet, or at least any Goodwill on the planet. You'll probably find one of these and one of its brethren in the form of the reactor. The Buzzsaw is kind of a remake of an older blaster from like 1995 called the Ripsaw, which held one more ball than this and had some minor changes in aesthetics, but it was still basically the same thing and had a different paint job. But 1995, so th that's, if this is a remake of that, when did this come out? The late 90s, early 2000s? Try 2007? What the heck? This thing came out after the long shot, I had no idea, because I was around when the long shot actually came out. Obviously, I was. And I was kind of in the nerf game at that time, although not very deep at all. This thing, 2007, after the long shot. They were still making ballistic ball shooters, three of them, in fact. This, the remake of the reactor, which has been released God knows how many times. And then a little single shooter pistol thing I've never seen before in my life, but... All that in 2007, that's ridiculous, because obviously you probably know by this point there's a reason why you don't see ballistic balls anymore, and that's because they're absolute garbage. They are terrible. They are better off being soaked in kerosene and set on fire than shot out of this thing, because uh, they, uh, they don't really do a whole lot. They kind of shoot like a depressed stone sloth. It's terrible. I... Uh, you, to operate the blaster, you put three balls in here. It will only hold three. And this is a manual powered flywheel blaster. This thing on the back doesn't lock into place in anything, so if I pull it back, it will slowly fall down, and it's engaging with a little motor, manually powered gear motor, on this flywheel right here. So if I crank this thing up or charge it up, which is pretty fun. And then I shoot. It's awful. And that's why we don't have ballistic ball shooters anymore. That's why we have Rival, which is the exact opposite of this. Those things have very high velocities and travel reasonably far, although you know, dart shooters are still a little more aerodynamic, so they keep their velocity longer, so they do beat out rival in most situations. But the point is, it looks really cool. It honestly does. You you could take this whole blaster right here, you could shove flywheels or something in it, rev trigger, you could make this thing magazine fed if you really wanted to. It would take a lot of shell work, but you could totally do it. Because these things look cool. They look really cool in my opinion, but that's really all it does. Now, yeah, you can overhaul this thing and basically make a custom blaster out of it, but that's all it can really do, and not many people are going to be able to do that. With the reactor, which I'll probably get around to viewing sometime soon, now that I have the ammunition to run one, it, uh, it has another use. As Bubba Lolo has figured out, you can take those things and the springs and make them into Vortex magazines. Extended ones, I might add. So, crazy cool. That does actually have a use. This thing... Not so much. And like I said, you'll probably find these pretty much everywhere, but unless you're planning on doing some really extensive modifications, this is not worth picking up in any stretch of the imagination. It is cool. It is fun to charge the thing up, but its whole mechanics are very, very simple. You rev up that flywheel down there, and then you pull this trigger, which makes like a little... Uh, like lever, like pull down and let one of the balls fall into the, the thing and let the 
ball go out that way. And that's basically all it does. And that's depressing to find out that came out in 2007 when we already had like night binders and all that crazy stuff. And now we're getting things like this. There is like some kind of crazy jam release lever right here, right on the top of it, which I, I haven't figured out how to use. It just kind of makes a little piece of plastic move upwards, which I'm guessing you can pull that up and then dump the ball out if it gets stuck. But honestly, I, I, I don't really know what else I could possibly say about this thing. And that's the problem. I was just blown away. I figured this came out in like early 2000, maybe late 90s, you know, stuff like the motorized Balzuka and stuff. And technically it did because the rip saw was a thing, but 2007, that, that blows my mind. That's actually before some people who view this video were alive. And that's depressing, because I was in high school at the time. What the heck? But let me know what you think about the Nerf buzzsaw down in the comment boxes below. Uh, what would you do with it? What do you think I should do with it besides put it in a trash fire? Uh, not that I'd want to, because somebody sent this to me and it's the only one I have. So for, you know, archival's sake, it will stay in one of the boxes up there for the occasional point when I need one. Or if, again, I can... I guarantee you I could go down to a thrift store right now, the one, the only one near me, and find one of these things. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did. I've seen one at every thrift store, but you may have a good idea for this, so let me know down in the comments section. And of course, check out DBD205's channel in the description box. Let me know what you think of them. Like I said, they're a younger channel. They're, they're pretty good, though. I mean, I watched one of their videos, and they didn't have the whole shaky cam going on. They might in some, but and then usually those make me throw up, and that's something a lot of kids have problems making videos, but these didn't seem too bad at all. So, maybe it's pretty good. Maybe it's a new Nerf channel. I, I haven't watched a lot of their videos, but I do thank them for sending me this thing because I finally have the balls to run one. Ball jokes never get boring. I'm Walkout by 7. Thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one.